What's up, guys? How's it going? Okay. So I know that this conclusion video for the carnivore diet is... Yeah, we're, 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 I've been off it now for like 20 odd days, 22, 23 days. So let's call it almost a month. Um, but I think the, it's better because I've had time on a regular diet after the carnivore diet so I can see the what's reverted back to what it was or what's changed back or if we've had any negative effects since the normal diet. So... Yeah, I think um, it's actually quite a good thing that it's taken so long to get this out because I've got a lot to say about it. Not a lot. It'll, you know, it's going to be about a 10 minute video, probably. But yeah, let's get straight into it. So basically, this uh, video, this conclusion is for it's, it's a very specific set of people, I guess, right? It's for people who are in the same situation as me. Now, if you're jacked or you're in shape or you're some sort of fitness guy or, or whatever, I got, I got nothing to say to you because my body was not there when I started. Where my body was at when I started the kind of a diet was I was unhappy with my weight, unhappy with my size, unhappy with my diet. I was always tired. I was sluggish. Um I was almost seventeen stone. I probably was seventeen stone uh before I weighed myself the first day or day two of the carnival diet. So I probably was seventeen stone when I started off this. And I finished it off just above sixteen stone. Um so yeah it's for you guys who if you're out of shape and want to just change how you feel and stuff like that i would highly recommend this 30 day carnival challenge because um it's a hell of a kickstart it's a hell of a kickstart it gets you going it gives you a goal and for me you know what i mean like people like you know there's people all over like TikTok and all this stuff, and they and they, and they go, oh, eat less, move more, and I'm like, yes, but you're 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 a moron because it's not that simple. Because if it was that simple, everybody would be in fucking shape. Um, I I need a goal. I need like a number or a date or something like that. You know, um, even if like recently I've been saying, you know, I want to be like in really good shape at forty. That's still a number. That's still a date. A very set date, you know. I just don't want to be out of shape in my going into my forties and stuff. That's kind of my goal, I guess. But you know, you, you set your own goals. You set your own goals. So I figured we could just talk about pros and cons of it. Basically, you know, we only did it for thirty days. Um, I think anything longer than that, um, you know, let me know because uh, I don't know what it's going to be like doing it long term. There's people if you look, you know, in the groups and. Um, in the whole community that they build in, mainly it's mainly in America, but like uh, they're saying they've been on it for years. Like I don't know, like a couple of guys on there say they haven't had anything but meat for like a year and a half, and I I struggle to believe them. In all honesty, I I mean, because because like I said, the amount of times where like I could have easily just had something and just not told anybody. And it probably wouldn't have affected the diet either. You know, I probably could have had a chocolate bar, just not told anybody. It probably wouldn't have affected the diet at all because let's face it, you know, you can have cheat days and stuff that don't ruin your diet. It might slow the progress, but they don't, they don't, it's not like a step backwards or anything. Um, so uh, 30 days uh, is doable. Um, you know, even, even a couple of months, but I, I don't, I don't really believe for a second that anyone's doing it for years. Uh is 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 my opinion. I really don't. Um but yeah, let's talk about the pros of it. So the pros of it were like I said the weight loss. Um I was probably about 17 stone when I started it. I was just above 16 when I finished it. Um I'm floating around just above 16 stone now since I've come off it. Uh so that's one of the pros, the perks of it definitely. Um it's fun. Like love meat. It's awesome. There were patches where it wasn't fun, but for the most of the time it was fun. You know, I was looking for, I always look forward to a meal. Even when I was like craving like bread and sugar and stuff, after I had a nice meal, those cravings kind of went away because my body got something I liked, something I enjoy, which is meat. So, yeah, like that is something to keep in mind. And a treat is like a fatty piece of meat, you know, or a kebab or something, obviously, no bread. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, 
you definitely have to be disciplined to do it. If you have to be determined, like I said, if I wasn't making these videos, I wouldn't have finished it. I wouldn't have finished the challenge. I wouldn't have been successful. Uh, so kudos to you if you do it longer than a month. Uh, if you have done it for longer than a month, let me know. Uh, but I, I don't buy for a second that people have done it for years. I'm sorry, I just don't. I just can't. I can't. I can't see how. And I'll t you'll you'll we'll discuss in like the, the you know the the negatives section why. But yeah, um, energy levels off the roof, off the roof, through the roof. Uh, didn't nap once the entire time, unless I was trying to sleep off one of those sugar withdrawal headaches where I literally couldn't. It was was it wasn't a nap. It was just me closing my eyes and just praying for the pain to stop. They were they were horrendous, guys. They were horrendous. We'll talk about them more in the negatives. Um, but yeah, didn't have a nap the entire thirty day challenge, and then. My first day off it, I napped after dinner straight away. I just had to. I couldn't stay awake. I had potatoes and I had um, loads of veg. And I do Yorkshire pud, pudding. And I just couldn't not nap. I, I, I literally said to myself, I've got to lie down. I've got to sleep. And my body was fucked. But it might have hit me much harder because I'd been eating so, so clean and so uh, uh, free for a month. Um, yeah, like napping. Like, I don't like napping. Like... I don't like napping anymore. I always wake up feeling like shit. To like an hour, between an hour to an hour or two of my day off gone. And I, I'm not talking about catching up on sleep now, if you're tired and you've been working overtime or what you're doing. Catching up on sleep's different. Napping, because you've had a big meal, it's the worst. It's the worst. So... Yeah, I've been eating a lot. I've I've, I've been eating uh, pretty normally lately. Um, I haven't started uh, drinking full fat pops. I'm still on the diet sodas and diet uh, cokes and stuff. If I do have a can of coke or something like that, I'm sticking to the diet sugar free. That's one of the huge changes as well. Um, so coming off the diet, the diet sort of, the diet cokes and the diet drinks are like a treat. You know, I don't want I don't want the full fat when the diet ones taste nice enough. But um, yeah, the energy levels were unbelievable. Like I was just motivated. I was working. I did like sixty hours overtime this month, and I think the diet was a big part of me being able. To, the energy levels were just unbelievable. I can't explain it. I've never felt better after eating in my entire life. And now I'm back on a normal diet. I realize how bad I feel after eating uh, in my everyday normal life and routine. And it's quite it's quite worrying actually, because um, I don't think you should feel that bad after a meal. So I'm gonna be you know tweaking it and stuff like that. When I eat like chicken and broccoli, a little bit of rice, fine. But like if I have anything carbs, even if it's just like a normal portion of mashed potato, my body's like Phew. they're just weighted down. Yeah, so the energy levels were unbelievable uh, on this diet. They were unreal. They just couldn't stop me. You couldn't stop me. The other the other positive of it, um, it's quite. It's one I don't think a lot of people are expecting. It's just like I got to, I got to try a bunch of meats that I don't really eat a lot, you know, or at all, and seafoods and stuff, you know. So like, get, just go try stuff. Go like, like, search it and try it because, you know, we found those ostrich steaks. Were they ostrich steaks? Yeah, they were unbelievable. Um, and like I just found like, like I remembered how much I love seafood. I was eating loads of seafood and I was like, oh, I gotta eat seafood more often, man, because seafood's so amazing. But I think like. A little perk that we didn't expect is I've like it's like re rekindled my my love for seafood and trying out other meats and stuff and I'm definitely gonna keep doing it. I'm definitely gonna keep doing it, like ostrich and zebra steaks and uh all different types of things. Going to the butcher. Love going to the butcher. And I realise I don't go to the fucking butcher anymore and buy awesome meats off him and I'm gonna do that more often and I have been. So yeah, that's definitely another perk there. But um I think the negatives outweigh the positives um, for this diet because it's so strict and so limited. And yeah, I'm going to tell you why now. Let's, let's talk about that. Yeah, so the first negative I've talked about a bunch of times, uh, the sugar withdrawal headaches. They're horrendous. Now, not everyone's going to get those because if you don't eat a lot of sugar before you take it, I imagine you'll dodge that. I'm not sure what sort of 
um, what other types of withdrawals cause headaches like that, but the sugar withdrawal headaches were the worst, um, and I, they were, they were just horrible. They were just horrible, and they, they were definitely the first thing I thought about, but I think I would have got those on any diet I switched to because sugar's the thing you got to cut out. Sugar's the thing I had to cut out to stop putting on weight, mainly, so... Yeah, they're, they're going to suck, guys, and there's no getting around them. If you're getting them, there's no getting around them. Like I said, I started eating the fruit two weeks in, as you guys know, two and a half weeks in. I mean, it did help. Uh, it did help get through the rest of them. So that's the first negative. The sugar withdrawal headaches were heinous. The second one, second negative I'm going to talk about, is how unsociable, unsocial, sociable, the, uh, the diet is. Like, so I, uh, like, uh, after a couple of times of uh, my girlfriend being like, oh, should we go here? Should we, do you want to do this tonight? And I was like, I can't, I'm on the diet. I was like, Jesus, this is like really, this is a problem. So I had a look to see what Dr. Sean Baker did and what he recommends for it. And he's like, I eat before I go. And I'm like, so like, if they're going out for dinner or whatever, he still goes and has a drink or whatever, but he eats before he goes. And I'm like, that's not a solution. That that sounds that sounds awful. That sounds shitty. But yeah, as I continue to search in the videos, people online are like, yeah, I normally eat at home, and like you know, if the family are going out for dinner and stuff, I'll eat at home, and uh, I won't eat when we get there. Or I might have a little bit of their meat, but I won't order out or eat out. And I'm like, well, that's just the worst because fuck that. I'm not doing that. So it's one of the reasons uh, I'm not going to carry on this diet, guys. I like going out for dinner. I like going out for dinner and stuff. You know? um, I think this this diet lacks balance. It lacks balance. And what it's created is community. And everyone loves being part of a community, guys. You know, like this one, the gaming one we got. I love it. It's amazing. I can't, can't imagine my everyday life without it now. But And I love how... The community he built and stuff and they all talk and they all send pictures of their meals and they all do this and then they all send pictures of their dogs who are on carnival diets and stuff and it's great and they get that feel of community but i think they either ignore or start to miss all the other stuff that comes with it because they're having such a good time interacting with the community and stuff you know, maybe they weren't, maybe they weren't very, like, uh, involved in any sort of community before this. And I think a lot of them get caught up in that. And it's just not, it's not viable for everyday normal life, I don't think. It's not. Um, I would definitely recommend having a week or two now and again. I might do, I might do another week or two every now and again myself, just to, like, sort of, because, like I said, the energy levels are amazing and stuff like that, but... It's so unsocial, like, even like just going for a beer, one beer, it's, like, or a couple of beers, three or four beers, just one night a month. It's not going to kill you. It's not going to mess you up. But while you're doing this, you can't do that. And it's like, this is the worst. This is, this is a shitty diet. It's not, but at those times, you're like, this, this is crap. I don't like this. Uh, the other, the last one is, like, obviously... It's a bit more expensive. Our initial food shop we did, I think episode two or three or something, I was saying it's not that much more expensive. But I learned that I was I was eating so much that we were shopping more often. So like our our first original food shop was like not not much more expensive at all, ten twenty pound more expensive. And I was even saying to my girlfriend that we were like, oh, this isn't that bad actually. But then I was flying through the shop. I was flying through the food, and then I was buying stuff like in between food shops to top up and stuff like that so it is more expensive than a normal diet because you know oats and rice and veg are so cheap and you can buy them in bulk and uh, you can buy them in large amounts for, for, for nothing and yeah it's more expensive guys definitely don't let anyone tell you otherwise because it is <laughs> it's, and and that, and and that's one of the things that like you know so that that's why i wanted to do it myself you know because i'm on a, a very normal wage um and the only people we see on youtube and stuff are these guys and you look at the houses they're working out and cooking in and of that and you're like this guy's got money though like this guy's got money and we all know joe rogan and all the comedians who tried it have got money 
not a problem. They can buy grass-fed beef every day and it doesn't dent them. They probably don't even see it leave their account. They probably get it for free anyway. But it's it's much more expensive, trust me, uh, in the long run. Um, because like I said, you've got a snack and stuff and the only thing you can snack on in between meals is meats, jerky, stuff like that, and it's pricey. So that's the last thing to take into consideration there. Basically, yeah, that's that's the conclusion. My conclusion is this diet is great if you want to kickstart your weight loss and your training and all that stuff. Really good. Even if you start it off on a two-week one, don't commit to the full month. Really good to get yourself in the routine of cooking regularly again instead of ordering takeaways uh, like I was all the time. Ugh all the time and uh yeah it gets you into the routine of cooking again you know i was going out walking more often because i was heading up to the butchers i was doing this and i was like I'll, I'll walk it i'll do this and it gets you much more motivated so even if you're only gonna do it for two weeks or three weeks which is super doable it's like not even i i, I that'd be a breeze doing it for two weeks it'll get you started i think get you in the routine and get you going um but anything after that i wouldn't personally guys i wouldn't bother uh because I don't think you, I don't think the, um, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth the money. I don't think it's worth the dedication to it. And I don't think it's worth the, uh, the pain. To be honest, there's better ways. I think definitely to get yourself on a on a healthy, well balanced diet. Um, is what I'm going to be on now moving forward. I'm just going to eat my greens, eat my bet, eat my chicken eat my fish have a cheat day a week probably eat my aussie snacks that's coming up later uh yeah so that's my conclusion right guys um if you do do it let me know um join the discord server let me know how you're getting on and stuff you know pictures of your food and all that we'd love to see it we'd love to see how you get on with it as well like keep us updated in the discord server and stuff but yeah that's my conclusion on the carnivore diet guys i hope you enjoyed the videos i really enjoyed doing it for most of the time uh, for the most part, and yeah, I'll see you for the next vid. Yeah!